Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm on my way back uh, to Las Vegas Q Club and uh, meeting up with little Mike. And I'm trying to get in as much sessions as possible with him so I can be ready when I start the uh, tap ball. And right now I'm still uncomfortable with the uh, position play and everything for eight ball and uh, trying to figure out what's the best route. Right now when I'm shooting eight ball, it's hard for me to see it and hard for me to do the right thing and when I do take the pattern play, it's normally not the best pattern play so I just got to get in extra games and uh, learn. Our last session, session 10, uh, we were interrupted so we're going to go back and uh, we're going to learn what we're supposed to, what we were supposed to last session. So let's go. Everybody. So this is a session uh, training, a session 11. Now, 10. We were supposed to go through a bunch of stuff, but halfway through we were uh, interrupted and uh, by by a cash game. <laughs> yeah. So uh, now what I need is uh, what we need to go through that we, before we got interrupted was the first. I want to go back on the setup again. You said you had a thing about the hip. That's correct. Okay, we're going to do that and we're going to show him a little bit of his stroke from behind because a lot of people are asking for it. Uh, we also, I also need a pattern play. Talk a little bit about the pattern play, some more and the safeties and also and then real quick jump. I just, I forgot how to do that. And I'm going to explain, I'm going to explain what I'm doing with the, with the lining up so people understand it like I explained it to you. Okay, it's, uh, and it's really cool but it, it'll be, it'll make sense and that's the most important thing. If people understand things and make sense. Cool. All right. So, well, the first one, your lineup and your strokes. Okay. So, I'm gonna I'm gonna get you can't even get a very basic camera. Right yeah. So, here we are. We first lined up on the ball. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? You think? Okay. We first lined up on the ball. A lot of times we start from the center. Okay. That's what that's what we do, right? Well, the problem is. With that is you're going to find yourself right. going through yeah, your left because the center, the center of your, the center of your body, isn't where your arm is going to be straight. See, the center of your body is here. Your arm is almost parallel to that. So if you break your body up into four parts, it's going to be you know zero, 25, 25. It's going to be 50, 75, and 100. Well, we where, we, where our arm goes is at 25 because here's zero, here's 25. Here's 50, here's 75, and, and 100. So where our arm goes is, is, is at 25, so that's right at our hip. So if we start- And, and the reason it goes to 25, because 25 is like during the middle of the chest, like this side 50 of the chest. 50 is the middle of the chest. Yeah, but it's here, you, you're saying 25 is here because you tilt your body yeah, a little Yeah, because, because see, if you, if you go like this, look at me. Right. From over there, from the front. See what I'm saying? Right. Got it. So yeah. Right. So, yeah, you have that little tilt of your body. That's right. why you do. That's probably why. Okay. So so what I what I what I learned was to shoot from the side of your hip. That's what I always learned. So that way, when I get down to the ball, I'm always going to be straight, shoot straight. So I don't have to worry about spinning the ball or anything like that. So all I need to do is line up. And if you have a problem with it, just set your stick to the side right here, and then get down on the ball, and you'll see all you have to do is hit the ball straight. And there's no spin on the ball. And it's not, a lot of times you'll find yourself even on straight in shots that are ball spinning for some reason. No wonder, hey, I didn't put no English on that ball, or I didn't do, do that to the ball. Well, that's why, because you're lining up here and you're getting in, so actually you're going to go through kind of to the left. But if you do it this way, let it straight from your hip, and you step in, you're going to have no spin on the ball. You're going to, the ball's going to get no spin. It's just going to stay there. Right, and this, this helps you. It helps you not feel your hand, right? Whether right. It's this way. It's the other yeah. thing I want to get into is when, that I never did is on the drawback of the cue. What I do is I kind of when I when I come back on the cue, I don't need to come back any more than when I feel the pressure on my hand. When I feel the pressure on my hand come back, I don't need any more. That's it. So I'm going to shoot up a shot here where you can see where that cue starts to make pressure. Just a small straight in shot. And I'm going to line up from my hip right here. I'm going to get okay. down on the ball without a real touch bridge. Now, when I, I feel the pressure right here, that's all I need to go back is right here. So, uh, now I'll get the same amount, if not more power, 
from here than I would from up here. So here we go. I'm lining up from my hip to the spot. I get down in the ball, I come back, I feel the pressure, and I shoot. See, dead straight, ball doesn't go anywhere. No English on the ball, I'm in the center of the cue ball. And that's the most important thing. Now, can you put the ball up, please? Yep. I'm gonna line up from the center of my body and see if I can make that ball stay straight, okay? I bet it goes a little bit to the left because that's just the way it is. So I'm lining up the center of my body, I get down, I get down like this, and see the ball go off to the left? Exactly what it's, you know, exactly what it does. Just because the hand-eye coordination is always going to be there, it doesn't mean that this is going to be there. So I want to film your stroke from the back. Okay. This is for you, Ronnie. It's for Hollywood, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. And I'm doing the same thing. I'm lining up straight from my hip, straight to the ball. And I grip the cue the way I, you grip it the way it's comfortable for you, but just don't use your front two fingers, whatever you do. So here I am, I'm lined up straight. I get down on the ball, okay? I come back to like feel the pressure, and I stop. And that's what I do. Hit a couple. So the same thing, I line up with my hip. It's a little bit off end, but still, like I'll split the difference quick. Here, I'll split the difference from here. So I'm, I'm gonna line up from my hip to the center of this ball. When I get down, I'm gonna be dead, dead in, in the right place. I'm gonna pull back. Down in the center, and split the difference. I'm gonna pull back just till I feel the pressure and go forward. Side of my hip to that spot. I get down, I go halfway over, and that's all I'm looking at. I pull back and I fire. Dead hold. Okay. Nice. Okay. Let's do the pattern play. Let's save the end of pattern. Okay, and which for which? For right. eight ball. Eight ball. Okay. Yeah. So throw the balls out. The way, the way I learned how to play eight ball is like this. If you can't break out your problem balls in the first two shots, don't make any balls. Okay? Tie up balls, do whatever you have to do. Don't make nothing. So, here we go. I, let's say I don't have a shot at the 15 ball, which I don't. I don't have a shot at the 12 ball. Well, now I'm kind of, I probably won't, if, if I'm playing a real good player, I probably won't, I probably won't win this game. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to roll my ball up to the 14. Yeah, I'm going to throw you a couple more okay. out there. Okay, that's better. Give me some more options. So, so here, so. And I'm going to lock this one up. Okay, so so here we go. Uh, okay, we just broke and we made a few balls on the break. So what I'm going to do is figure out what balls I want to shoot at this point. So, well, the two ball doesn't go in this hole. It'll go over here. Five ball doesn't go in that hole or this hole. Um, so, of course, the six ball doesn't go anywhere. The 11 ball is easy to break out. And if I get the right angle, the 12 is easy to break out. So I have to figure out which balls I want. So to me, the stripes look a lot better than the solids. Because the solids are all tied up. We only got one stripe in there. So I would shoot the 14 first. And then, believe it or not, if I can't bring my first two shots, if I can't break out the problem balls, I'm not going to try to get out. So. I already got into my mind that I'm just going to pick my ball that I want to shoot right now, which is a 14 ball. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to shoot the 14. See all the line up hit me. Even though it's right in the pocket, I'm just going to put the ball in. Okay? That's what I'm going to do. Now, what do you think I'm going to do, Kenny? Break that up at the angle? Well, I, I really don't want to kind of break it up because, oh, okay. and I'll tell you why. Because the first few shots that you can't break out your problem ball. And you got two. And I got one. I got two problem balls I'm getting there. It's kind of it's kind of a pain. So what I want to do is the two ball doesn't go. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to make it actually kind of so he either starts running, he either starts trying to run his balls, or I put him in a spot where I'm able to break out my own ball. Okay. Which you can figure that out. If, you know, if you get into a spot where there's nothing you can really do, but you think make that ball maybe. Well, there are other things you can't do. You can you can push the ball and try and play safe to get ball in hand and then break ball down. But until then, yeah. If so I you, this ball so basically, you want to set it up to where you're dictating what he gets to shoot. Exactly. Okay. That's exactly what I want to do. And so here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just I'm going to push the 13 from here. Maybe out almost to the same position, and I'm going to put the cue ball right over here. Yeah. 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 
Yeah. Here we go. Did I pick my balls that I would have eaten? Line up my hip. Two more. Two more. Two more. One. The ball to go. I got to one back. I got to one back. That's all I want to do. Yeah. Perfect. You know, you can't make the three. You can't make the six. Turn, turn your head around. Now you're, now you're solid. Now I'm solid. Okay. So my well, solid right here. Uh, I got, I got these balls that are tied up. And there's no way in my first two shots, I don't, I can't make, I can't, I can't make the three ball unless I'm at eight. So what do I want to do? I want to tie balls up. So what I want to actually do is I want to send this three ball back over here to the rail or hit the left ball to get to the rail to tie both of those balls up. Now, let's see what happens. What's he going to shoot? Go back. You're, you're playing strike this time. Okay, now I'm playing strike. You're going to play, you're going okay. to play all day with yourself. That's fine. So that's fine. So what am I going to do? Okay, I know I got to break up here because that guy is did solid kind of. He see, he made a good shot, though. Right. But, uh, you know, so you got to make it so if it doesn't go exactly where you want it, you, you want to be basically in the neighborhood where you can tie up a ball, and that's right. what happened. So now we're striped. And you don't want to set it up to where he can he can bank off that with the angle, right? To break that up. Of course. That, that's what that's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna now stripes are kinda of, this is kind of tough because what's gonna happen is I really don't want to break out those balls, but I'm probably gonna have to, I'm probably gonna have to cut if I hit the ball slow, I'm gonna play the nine ball and hit the ball slow and try and freeze my ball against the two and the 12 ball is what I'm going to try and do. Or just get it right up there because he has no shots from back here. The seven ball doesn't go in the hole. The two and the four doesn't go in the corner. So as long as I leave him back here, I'm okay. He can't do anything. As long as I leave him back here, he can't do anything. So all I need to do is roll up on the nine ball because the seven ball doesn't go in the hole. The one of the four doesn't go in there from here. None of these ball go in from there. So here we go. So let's just roll up on the nine ball, rub the hip, straight to the center of the ball. Perfect. Look at that. That's beautiful. Now he's got no choice. He can't shoot any of the balls. He has to do something with the two balls. And when he does something with the two ball, Either you have to go to the side, or you have to shoot this way, and it's going to break my it's going to break my 12 ball out for you. Um, if not, if he misses the 12 ball bypass, it, that's so fine because the 12 ball still goes in the corner from this side. It doesn't make a difference. So how? How? The 12 here. I'll tell you what. Move this. Move this. Okay. And move here. 12 ball goes to the corner. Really, that's the uh, center ball. Oh, well, you broke that out. Okay, yeah, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. So, You're letting him shoot it out. Okay. Yeah, so. I got you. Gotcha. gotcha. So, so this is like this. This is like this, right? This is like this, right? Right here. Right here. So, so now, so the only thing for him to do is to either, well, he's kind of like screwed. You know what I mean? Because um, the three ball, the three ball was out a little bit more. Remember I told you, okay, you get to you need to put it up there, up here, so that way you can break out the six. But three ball is enough far enough to break that ball. So I'm solid. What do I do? I'm kind of stuck in a situation. I'm going to try and lay off the two and put the two ball right down here. That's what I want to do. I don't want to leave a shot for the 13. I don't want to hit it too hard. I don't want to leave a shot for the 10. So all I want to do is just try and come off the rail, maybe with a little bit of right hand, and just try and kill my ball right there. So that's what I'm going to do. Side of my hips right there, and I'm just gonna go like this. Perfect. 15 balls to go to the side. You can't reach your 11 ball, you can't reach your 10. You can't even reach the whole nine ball. But, you know, if I had put it right here, it would have been better. Because that way, from here, he's gonna play safe off the nine ball. He's gonna ring the cue ball back over here. Uh, because there's nothing else to do. So, here we go. Let's do this again, okay? Let's uh, let's play safe off the dime Let's figure out where he wants the ball. Where he can, where he doesn't have a shot. We know the seven doesn't go there. The one of the four does not go. Okay. The five ball doesn't go down there. The baby goes on the side and you let it go. Still doesn't do that. The only place the five ball will go will actually 
barely go in the corner, but he's not going to get it from down here. So here we go. Let me figure out the right place to put it. Anywhere in the center. That's where I want. Anywhere in the center. So I'm going to play my safe off the nine ball. Put the cue ball anywhere in the center of the rack. I don't put my hip to the edge of that ball. I don't need to hit it hard. Now, get the center of the rack. Good. Here we go. Now, he's got a shot, maybe. No, he doesn't. He can't make it. No kind of ball to hit either. The only thing he could probably try and do is sit patient. Is to try and make the two in the side, which he's got about this much clearance. But what happens after that? If he can make that two in the side, because it won't go in the corner, it won't go in the corner. Uh, he probably has a chance to win, but the odds it. The odds of making this ball, the odds of hitting this ball in the, in the hole, I'm showing them with the, with, from the camera angle, okay. but the odds of making this ball in the hole where we have to hit, if you look, you don't even have a full ball to go in the hole. You have maybe not even a half a ball to get past this angle. You, you gotta be perfect. perfect. Yeah, you, gotta yeah, you be have perfect. to be dead perfect. You know, and with a light speed. Yeah, the whole real life. And then if you want to get here, then you got a chance to win. But you also got to get back to the five ball. See? So, you know, it's still tough. So, I don't know. You want me to just try and get out here? What do you want me to do? You want me to do what I normally do? Yes. Okay. What I would do is I would come off the two ball. I would come off the two ball. I already know what I do. Yeah, with a little bit of left hand in it, and I want the cue ball to come here and come to this rail over here. That's what I want. Because the nine, the ten ball doesn't go past the nine ball. It's over here. Even if I leave money, if I leave money into the rail, it's still fine. I'm going to get stuck in another trap. I don't want to be there for the thirteen. So I'm actually going to play it off the one ball, not the two, because I got a better angle to play it off the one to the left. And not the two. I'll keep the two right there so it gives me a possibility to break out the five if I have to. Light it with my hip. And what it is. Right there. Perfect. You can't make the nine. You can't make the 13 unless he tries to bank it. Then he's got to get perfect. So. Well, if little Mike is playing himself and trying his best every single time, we'd be here forever shooting this, right? Yes. <clears throat> so what do I want to do now? Here's what I want to do. I'm, uh, I'm striped. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and get this game wide open, right? I'm going to shoot at the 11 ball, I'm going to call safe, and I'm going to freeze the cue ball against the three. Okay. So there's nothing else that's going to happen. So I'm going to freeze the cue ball, bring it back, freeze it against the three ball, and then I'm giving myself a chance to win. Good bat. Perfect. Okay. That's what I want to do. You can't make the three inside. It's going to throw it to the right. Yeah. He throws it against that ball, number one. She shoots, it's going to be a foul. He's going to double hit the ball. So me, yeah. on this one, I'm assuming I just tap the three and move the cue ball down here. You can. Down watch, here. Watch me, because he, he blocked the 15 ball. It was a great shot. You know what I mean? Right. I mean, the, for the, it wound up bad for the stripe because of what happened. So, yeah, I would probably do the same thing. I, well, you got no other chance. You got no other choice. No, you got one other choice. But it's kind of tough. Because because put it on the rail in the tent? Yeah, you could do that right off the rail, but then you're gonna have a shot at 13. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, exactly. Well, so, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna try and play this two ball, two rails, and freeze up to the 13. So here we are, lining up for you. No, no good. Yeah, that's good. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Rose up to 13. So now. 13 ball, the 11 ball doesn't go, we'll go past seven. I would rather have the ball right here, right. but it wound up right here, but it still froze up against the ball, and it's still our, our objective, and the ball, the ball doesn't go in the hole, so. That's how I play, Teddy, you know what I mean? I, I wouldn't play it any other way. Uh, you, you, wanna, you wanna play uh, balls to the walls, that's fine.
you want to try and run the balls off. But how many times do we play this game and guys run all the way to the last two where they got two balls left? So they run all the way to the end. So let's say I make all these balls, right? I make the ball and take, take, yeah, take, take that off. Take this off. And I'm going to spot, I'm going to spot, I end up like this where I'm straight in on the two ball, okay? And rip it here, okay? Yeah, hold that. Perfect. So now, it's the only chance I got to win. If I can make it get shaped the game. If I hit it, if I hit it soft, uh, if I try and draw the ball and hit it soft, I'm gonna probably do I'm gonna probably go farther on the other side of the, the pocket of the side pocket. So I want to hit it kind of firm. So I probably gonna want to stun the ball and make my cue ball come up here on the other side of the eight ball. That's probably what I want to do. That's what I'm gonna try to do. So whether it works out or not, who knows? Nope, not my yeah, right. Here we go. Able to do a five dollar game. Right? Yeah. Now, that's the kind of way I want. That's the kind of Perfect. way I want. Okay, you should be able to. You know, if you're somebody depressed and you're getting a certain amount of power press, you know, all these people, most of the dealers, you know, you say press, they're going to take you up one unit. Just like, no, press means double. Yeah. Right? Now, if you say, if you're throwing money and say press it to Are you a Chris? Good, how you been? Their, their hands are locked, you know, most of the time. So you're dead to hold. That's just how I play ball. I mean, that's how I play ball. I mean, I can't run out the balls and break out my balls in the first two shots. I can't get a lot of balls out.